what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out wwe matches that were never supposed to happen this should be a very interesting one sometimes matches end up happening that weren't in the original plans either somebody got injured or or maybe you know somebody ended up i guess you could say leaving the company that's happened because if you guys remember when cm punk no showed right before wrestlemania 30 they ended up putting daniel bryan in the match against triple h because i believe originally it was supposed to be triple h versus cm punk but since cm punk no showed him it was done with wwe at that time they put daniel bryan versus triple h and then they put him uh in the main event if he was to win that match which he did and he was in the main event of wrestlemania that year so technically if it wasn't for cm punk kind of leaving we don't get that daniel bryan triple h match and we don't get daniel bryan being inserted into that uh the championship match at wrestlemania 30. that's crazy someone leaving a company can ultimately change change up a match change up a match uh, uh the card and everything so we're gonna check out some of these instances instant ah, i can't even talk we're gonna check out some of these moments where this happened appreciate all love sport let's get right into this one man the 10 wwe matches that were never <laughs> supposed to happen there we sure go subscribe and hit that notification <laughs> bell number 10 the undertaker versus kane SummerSlam 2000 the fans may recall when wwe randomly booked kane to turn on the undertaker in the summer of 2000 this turn came completely out of nowhere as Kane and the Dead Man had to settle their rivalry in the years prior and there was no clear indication that the two were going to feud once again. WWE will proceed to book a match between the two at the annual SummerSlam event and interestingly this was a match that was never supposed to occur. Initially WWE were going to book the Dead Man vs the Big Show for the summer spectacle however due to Big Show being sent to OVW WWE needed a replacement oh. and an improvised Kane heel turn was the best thing that they could come up with. That's crazy. Number 9 Goldberg vs Braun Strowman yep. at WrestleMania 36 When the global pandemic of 2020 forced the WWE to change the way they operated they were without a universal title match for WrestleMania 36. Uh -huh. Number 1 contender Roman Reigns took a leave of absence from WWE due to health concerns meaning his planned match with Goldberg was cancelled. WWE didn't have time to build up a new rivalry for Goldberg, so they simply announced Braun Strowman as their new number one contender on the yep. weekend of the show. This was incredibly lazy from WWE, as little to no thought was put into what fans at home may have wanted to see. Fans were throwing names around including AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy and even Sheamus, yet Strowman being Reigns' replacement was certainly a questionable call. Now Strowman would go on to win the lackluster match giving the former White family member his first and only world title yeah. victory in WWE. Number 8. The yeah, I remember that. I remember that. No one really cared, but I mean it was cool for Braun Strowman to get that moment. Um but yeah <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen that wasn't in the cards i wonder if they're gonna have daniel bryan in this list as well i think they should show versus the undertaker great american bash 2006. the 2006 great american bash pay-per-view was supposed to see the debut of the punjabi prison match the structure would have seen the undertaker and the great carly finally finish their rivalry yet the match was never able to take place as Carly was pulled out at the last minute. It turned out that Carly had elevated levels of enzymes in his liver, so he was unable to compete. Mm. Fans weren't that upset, however, as the Big Show and the Dead Man had wrestled hundreds of times in the past and they had decent chemistry in the ring. The match concept was a bizarre one and it mm -hmm. was one of those match types that fans either love or hate. Yeah. The Undertaker would get the win and the consensus following the match was that the match would have been a total car crash if Carly was involved. <laughs> Number 7, Probably. Dean Ambrose vs Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 32. A rivalry between Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar started in early 2016 and it was common knowledge amongst the fan base that the WWE were going to book Wyatt vs Lesnar for WrestleMania 32. However, following the 2016 Fast Lane event, WWE mm -hmm. went in a completely different direction. Out of nowhere, they would move forward with a Lesnar vs. Dean Ambrose feud, and it was heavily believed that Wyatt wasn't going to be cleared to compete in time for WrestleMania. I think I remember that. Fast forward to 2023, and WWE once again had planned Lesnar vs. Wyatt to take place at WrestleMania. Yeah. However, it was widely reported that Lesnar wasn't a fan of the match idea, so we turned the idea down. Instead, Lesnar got to have a showdown with Omos in a match that exceeded everyone's expectations. Number six, John Cena. Yeah, that's that's crazy. It, 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 that's crazy how he was supposed to have a match with Lesnar both times and it didn't pan out. I mean, the match with Dean Ambrose was no better. If 
I think we probably would have got a better match with Bray and um and uh and uh Brock Lesnar, but the match with Dean Ambrose that no holds it was just a waste of everybody's time, bro. One of the worst matches. One of the worst no hold bar matches I've ever seen. This is Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 23. Hmm. At the main event of WrestleMania 23 saw John Cena defend his WWE title against Shawn Michaels. This classic match initially was not on the table, and in January 2007, WWE were forced to drastically amend their WrestleMania match card. When Triple H tore his quad at the start of the calendar year, yeah. this changed everything. Yeah. The game was going to face Cena in a WrestleMania 22 rematch, and WWE were going to begin the build to the feud just a matter of days after the game had suffered his career-threatening injury. They had to think of a backup plan, and a their solution was plan. to insert HBK into Triple H's spot. In relation to what HBK was initially supposed to do at WrestleMania 23, it's widely believed that he was going to represent Donald Trump in the Battle of the Billionaires, and due to HBK moving into the main event mm, slot, he would be wow. replaced by Bobby Lashley. Number five, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi That's King. That's crazy. I just didn't even. I I vaguely remember that, but that's crazy. I mean, hey, to be honest with you, I think it worked out better. Obviously, I wouldn't want Triple H to be hurt, but for HBK versus fucking John Cena, WrestleMania 23, that was a great match. And their rematch they had on that Raw, that upcoming Raw, pff, even better. Kingston, WrestleMania 35. Kofi Mania was a complete accident. And uh -huh. if Mustafa Ali hadn't suffered an injury, then Kofi Kingston's WWE title win would have never taken place. Kingston will replace Ali in the 2019 Elimination Chamber, and Kingston's babyface aura was on full display in the chamber, and this was the specific match that the fans firmly decided that Kingston was now their number one guy. Mm -hmm. Due to this overwhelmingly positive response, WWE decided to cancel their WrestleMania match for the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan. According to WWE producer Sean Devari during an appearance on the two-man power trip podcast, the original match set for WrestleMania 35 was to see Bryan defend his title against Kevin Owens. Yep. The crazy thing is that before WWE changed the WWE title match for WrestleMania, Kingston wasn't even set to be on the WrestleMania card in any That's capacity. Wild. Speaking about this on After the Bell, Kingston revealed that Bryan was heavily involved in pushing him to get the spot on the grandest stage. That's awesome. Number four, Biggie. That's fucking awesome. That's what, man. That's awesome, bro. I mean, Daniel Bryan versus uh, KO for that championship, that shit would have been fire, too, because of the history they have, too. But the fact that uh, Daniel Bryan was doing all he could to get Kofi that moment, too, because he knows what it's like to be in that situation, that was awesome. Kofi Kingston will probably never win a WWE championship again, but the fact that we were able to see that moment will live on he versus kevin owens versus bobby lashley versus seth rollins versus brock lesnar day one wwe's plans to host a pay-per-view event on new year's day in 2022 was put into jeopardy when on the weekend of the show reigning universal champion roman reigns tested positive for covid19 mm -hmm. reigns was set to main event the show against brock lesnar and now wwe without a main event their backup plan was a smart one as Lesnar would be inserted into a title match which was to feature WWE Champion Big E, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins. In a bold move, WWE would book Lesnar to win the match and this received criticism as Big E was just finding his groove as reigning champion. Yeah. Reigns testing positive for COVID on the weekend of the show changed the entire trajectory of WWE. Mm -hmm. It was reported that initial plans called for Rollins to win the WWE title in the planned Fatal 4-Way match whereas Lesnar was going to conquer Reigns and become Universal Champion. Mm -hmm. But due to Reigns testing positive, WWE have moved the Reigns vs Lesnar encounter to WrestleMania 38 in a winner-takes-all matchup, whereas Rollins would now face a returning yep. Cody Rhodes. Number three, That's Triple H. That's so crazy. That is so crazy, bro. That is one of those type of situations where because uh, Roman caught COVID, the, uh, the domino effect, that it created, the ripples that it created changed the landscape of WWE forever. It did. Because if it didn't, that title reign, that title reign that we got from Roman would have never happened that way. That's how crazy things ha can change just off of one situation. H versus CM Punk, Night of Champions 2011. Coming out of the 2011 SummerSlam event, WWE would move forward with the rivalry between Punk and Kevin Nash. This was designed to lead to a match between the two at Night of Champions, yet due to Nash not being cleared to compete, the match was scrapped. 
WWE needed to have Punk on the card, so they executed a plot twist which saw Triple H take Nash's place in the match, yep. and Punk and the game would go on to headline the pay-per-view. In one of the more controversial booking decisions of the past Stupid. two decades, they would book Triple H to win. This that decision made a little to no sense, as the oh. game was semi-retired and Punk was on his way to becoming the most popular babyface in the entire company. Dumb. This was a decision which Punk would hold against the WWE for years to come, as he along with the fans knew that Triple H shouldn't have won the match. Should now. Number 2. Randy Orton vs Batista vs Daniel I Bryan at WrestleMania I 30. Said it. <laughs> the CM Punk walking out of WWE in 2014 changed everything. Punk was said to be a major part of WrestleMania 30, and with Punk now gone, WWE had to think of an alternative creative decision. Punk was initially set to face Triple H at a uh -huh. grudge match, and Punk had a rather negative response to the idea of wrestling Triple H on the grandest stage. Punk's departure also aligned with the rise of Daniel Bryan as Bryan had emerged as the audience's chosen guy, mm -hmm. and they were insistent on seeing Bryan get his moment at WrestleMania 30. Due to these two factors, two WrestleMania matches would be changed. Yep. Triple H vs Punk was obviously cancelled, and instead Triple H would now Great face match. Bryan. The winner of this match would then be added to the scheduled main event world title match between Randy Orton and Batista. And number one, Roman Reigns vs Edge. Yep, bro. I, I said it, I called it, it made, it made sense to be on this list. Edge vs Daniel Bryan, WrestleMania 37. When Daniel Bryan was added to the main event of WrestleMania 30, WWE had to be convinced that Bryan was the right guy to main event the show. Mm -hmm. WWE, specifically Vince McMahon, didn't see Bryan as a top tier main eventer in 2014 and they would do anything to try and diminish his popularity. However, by the time WWE arrived at WrestleMania 37 in 2021, McMahon had built up such a positive connection with Bryan that he forcibly changed the planned WrestleMania main event to include him. The planned yeah. main event was initially set up to be Royal Rumble winner Edge challenging Roman Reigns for the Universal title. Yeah. However, McMahon clearly wasn't blown away by the standard match between Edge and Reigns headlining the biggest show of the year, so he made the call to add Bryan into the mix. Which is but crazy when it, you folks. think about it. I wasn't even, even trying to click on that, but when you really think about it, that's crazy. I didn't even know Vince had been the one to push that. I didn't even know that. I did not know Vince was the one to ultimately push that decision. That's how you know times had changed because Vince looked at Vince looked at Brian a little bit differently. Before, even before he left, he looked he get he gave him more respect because he didn't see him as the A plus player. But once he figured it out and he saw it, he gave him a lot more respect. So the fact that Vince pushed for that, which made the match that even better, that that triple threat between Edge, Daniel Bryan, and Roman Reigns, the first WrestleMania back with the crowd and being involved, like being in the mix, that shit was great. Shit was fantastic. Comment down below. Let me know some other matches you guys may have heard of or known about that weren't originally supposed to happen if it wasn't on this list but it ended up happening because of certain circumstances let me know down below but i appreciate all the love support road to 150k and i'm still here to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see you on the next one peace